Hello everyone and welcome to the CEC and AMI guys. So today we will design the drop and pull system. So let's start with the so open the new document. And go to the sketch section. Now select the plane from the this menu. Here I am selecting the front plane. Then normal it. Go to the sketch and draw a rectangle, center rectangle. The dimension of the rectangle is 150 and 30 centimeter. For that, we have to be change the dimension from here. Uh, I am changing the dimension to mm to centimeter. So again, I have to draw the rect draw the rectangle. So again, I am selecting the front plane. Normal it. Go to the sketch section and select the center rectangle. The dimension of the rectangle is the 150 by 30 centimeter. So this one is the 150 centimeter, and this one is the 30 centimeter. Now select this circle and draw a circle at the midpoint of this left side line. And the dimension for this circle is the 25 centimeter diameter. Okay, here I am selecting 25 as a diameter. Now the next step is the select the again center rectangle and draw a rectangle at the midpoint of the intersection of the diagonals randomly create this and the width of this rectangle is the 15 centimeter how much 15 centimeter Right, 15, then the center. Now go to the trim section. Trim all the entity other than this one. So I am trimming this all the part. Only this part is required for our working and also this part is not required so trim as well as this part. Now again draw a rectangle this time I am selecting the corner rectangle and draw a rectangle. And width of this rectangle is the 2 cm. How much? 2 cm. The next step is to again go to the You can go to the trim entities, power trim and trim the inner surface, inner line of this one. Now the next step is uh, go to the spline. Go to the spline and create a Okay. 
for that first exit this now go to the feature manager before it do one thing select the center line for the action revolvers We will revolve this entity about the this axis. Again, go to the spline and map line. Now again rearrange this curve and uh, make the center line to mirror this entity. Go to the mirror entities. Select the entity to mirror. And select the axis mirror about. And OK it. Delete this axis. This is not required. Now go to the feature manager and uh, select the revolved boss or base. An axis of revolution is the, this axis. This axis is used as the axis of revolution. And selected contour, this one. This contour is selected as the. Then OK it. Now you can see that we have drawn the pulley for the rope and pulley system. You can see we have created the pulley for that. Now select the this plane and normal it. Now we will make normal option front plane top plane. So here I am selecting the top plane and normal it. Now we are going to make the rope for the rope and pulley system. Go to the sketch and select the circle and make circle of diameter 152. And okay. It. Then zoom out and go to the line and draw a line for the rock. So here I am making the line of the 200 mm, 200 centimeters. Sorry, and uh, from here draw a line of uh, 125. You can select the any length. Exact dimension are required for the only pulley because uh, it will only fit in this section which is uh, which we made uh, as a groove uh, given dimensions now the next thing is that the trim the entities this is not required that uh, is this one and select ok now exit the plane and go to the feature manager and select the reference geometry and go to the plane for that first reference I am selecting this one as a point and uh, for the second reference this line then uh, now you can see the plane is created at the point now we will create the sketch for the row. So normal the plane. Go to the sketch manager and select the circle and make circle of radius 11 centimeter. Here I am selecting the circle Now draw a 
सर्कल ऑफ डायमीटर 22 सेंटीमीटर जूमिंग फॉर द बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ड्रो सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस 4.2 पॉइंट टू एंड फ्रॉम देंटर फोर पॉइंट टू एज रेडियस सो एट पॉइंट फोर एज ए डायमीटर एंड डू वन थिंग सेलेक्ट द बोथ ऑफ दिस सर्कल दिस वन एंड दिस वन एंड सेलेक्ट द रिलेशन टेंजेंट now go to the go to the circular sketch pattern and uh, parameter this one sorry circular sketch parameter is select as this small circle smaller circle and entity which are required is the fourth so it is correct now select okay now go to the feature manager Feature Manager. Or go to the Trim Entities. And trim the outer entities. Now go to the Feature Manager again. Go to the Sweep and Bows. Select the entity as this one, Sketch Number Five, and for the path, select this line. now go to the option here you will find the option is that was is called the follow path or here you will find the profile twist so specify the profile twist here i am profile is not twisted so we have again we will go to the sur command and go to the edit feature specify twist value so in revolution we will give so in the revolution when i am selecting the increasing the revolution you can see that the as the drop is the power of the bar is converting into the drop shape so i think the six revolution are the you know then select okay now it will be look like a rope and pulley proper rope and pulley system now hide the features um, sketch and the uh, planes so now you can see that the we have designed beautifully rope and the pulley system so thank you guys uh, if you like the session so please share our channel and uh, share our channel and video and if you are new to the our channel then don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you guys